Batman Arkham City short video game review, PC, Game of the Year edition. When Hugo Strange takes over the newly built Arkham City, which is part of the slums of Gotham that is now to hold all of the inmates of the Blackgate Penitentiary and of Arkham Asylum, Batman senses that something is not quite right, so he enters the city and is soon poisoned by the Joker and he has to f both find a cure and another ticking clock is that of Strange's ominous voice letting us know that in so and so many hours Protocol 10 will commence. This is a lot like the first for both good and ill. The Predator and Fighting Predator being stealth and fighting modes have new things but they're built on top of the old ones so you can go into it and play it basically the same way. But with there still not being any puzzles and the open world really not allowing for that much interaction ultimately feels like more of an expansion pack than a sequel. Boss fights have been greatly upgraded and there are other things such as detective vision which have been improved and certainly this does fit in a lot of villains from Batman Mythos albeit it doesn't really give them very much to do other than encounter Batman and be beaten up by him. The game took me about 18 hours to complete and that includes 2 hours for the Harley Quinn's Revenge DLC which is really not particularly interesting. If that doesn't come for free with your game don't even bother. And where the first one took 10 and a half hours or 19 once I had collected all the extras which you know, the 18 hours for this is not having collected all extras, it's only having completed the entire story and some extras, some side missions. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that huge of, you know, yeah, an expansion, you might say. This time you get to play as Catwoman in the main campaign as well, and Robin gets to, you know, you get to, to control Robin in some of the Harley Quinn's Revenge DLC, and when it comes to challenge maps, you can play as those three and Nightwing. And as Nightwing, Robin, and Catwoman have different gadgets than Batman, it does make it interesting. Although it is a bit... you, you kind of wish that they had gone the full mile and allowed you to play in the regular game as Nightwing and Robin as well. And the reason, part of the reason they haven't is that they do not have enough gadgets to make up for the ones Batman has, but they could have been given that. And yeah, this does still does not have any vehicles, and it really betrays the fact that they really did not do that much else. They opened it up more, and this is genuinely open world. You can go anywhere on in. Arkham City, and this would be great if you could interact with it more. The, the side missions are fun and fairly varied, where, for example, Victor Zoss might call you up on a payphone, and you have to reach another payphone for him to give a clue as to where his next hostage is, and such. You, you have to play along with their demented games. and. Certainly the game still does offer a challenge and actually has consequences, but otherwise it does not really beat Assassin's Creed. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.